do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Boy, check it out. It was a special ceremony for a local family who served our country for decades from the west side all the way, Heather, to Top Gun. Yeah, she's pretty impressive. The whole family is. Uh, you can see this is a virtual ceremony here, really just a sign of the times for the swearing in of this brave new member of the U.S. Air Force who says she wants to be part of something much greater than herself. So she is second Lieutenant Heather McGraw. She attended Millennium High School and recently graduated from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. And she is now the fourth generation in her family to serve. Her great-grandfather fought in World War II's Battle of the Bulge. Her grandfather fought in Vietnam. And her dad, seen in the video here, was in the Air Force for 25 years and served in Afghanistan. He's been out at Luke Air Force Base. So her virtual graduation, much different, we should say, than her family's before her. It's definitely a motto of adapt and survive. Um, it wasn't expected, but you have to be grateful that you're even getting there. It's a privilege and an honor to serve. So no matter how they present it to you, uh, it's definitely amazing to be able to put your hand up and take that oath. So and plus, I got to be with my parents for it. So. Oh, she's going to be good. Second Lieutenant McGraw now heads to Pensacola for training. She plans to serve in combat systems, which entails weapon systems and electronic warfare. She believes it's more important now than ever to remain united as a country, and she is inspired and she is proud to serve like her long line of family on both sides in that military. By the way, her mom's side also comes from a long line of military service in England with the Royal Air Force. So uh, a wow. huge legacy and big footsteps to fill there scene. She's going to do great. I love her uh, attitude. Adapt and survive. We could all learn something from that tonight. Thanks, Heather.